Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Debbie Javier. Before we start, please do not forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and click the notification bell for you to be notified every time I have a new video. So, a lot of students of mine and some teachers have been requesting about a topic on research. So, this is just the first series of research topics that I will be discussing since so many have been requesting about this one. Okay, so let's start. So today, I will be discussing tips in writing a good research title. So this is just the first among the series of research topics that I will be discussing. So how are we supposed to make a res good research title? Okay, this is a very good question. What are the tips that I can give for you to be able to make a very good research title? The first one is, a research title should be clear, interesting, and stimulates the reader's interest. So that should be the first one that you need to consider. One, it should be clear. So meaning to say, when someone reads the title, they will, they will be able to easily understand what is the title all about? Number two, it should be interesting. Okay? It should be interesting. Mean to say it should arouse the interest of the readers. By simply reading the title, then they will be motivated already to read about your research. And it should stimulate the reader's interest also at the same time. So mean to say when they see the title, when they see your work, then it will make them be very, very interested to look more into it to really discover what is in your paper. That's number one. Number two, choose a title that is practical, doable, and relevant. What do you mean by practical? So when you say practical, it's something that you can really work on. Maybe say if you are a, a senior high school student, then it's really feasible for you to work on it as a senior high school student. It should be doable, something that you can do, for example, considering the span of time that you are going to uh, do the research. For example, you'll only be given five months or three months or one year to do the research. Make sure you'll be able to finish it in that period of time. And then it should also be relevant, meaning to say it's something that is needed, it's something that people wanted to read about, it's something that is useful. So consider the following in choosing the title. So money, that's the first, money. Consider how much will you be spending on that particular research that you're going to work on. Do you have that funding? Do you have that money to work on that paper? Second, you have time. Consider the time. How much time do you need to work on it? I have already mentioned it a while ago. If you only need to do it for a semester or for two semesters, Try to consider that one. You have to set a time frame for you to be able to finish the research. Next, consider also your ability. So it should be practical, doable, and relevant. So consider your ability. Can you do it? Uh, can your group mates do it? Can you do it alone? Or do you need people to do it with you? So consider how much you know about the research and your ability to work on it. Next, consider also accessibility. Accessibility means to say, can you gather the data? Do you have the means to gather the data? Is it near in terms of distance, near, far? Or do you know anybody in that particular school or in that particular place where you are supposed to gather the data? So please consider those things in choosing your title. Practical, doable, and relevant. Of course, money also matters, time your ability, and your accessibility. Next, the third, make sure to include the keywords in your title. That's very, very important. So that upon reading, when readers will read your title, they will already have an idea of what the topic is all about, of what your research is all about, because the keywords are already there. That's very, very important. Number four, the subject and the scope of the study should be accurately indicated. So what is the topic all about? And then, of course, the scope. Who will be the participants or the respondents of the study? And where will you conduct the study? And when will you conduct the study? It should be included in the title also. And the last 
tip that I can give you in writing your research title is this one. Number five, the title should consist of 10 to 15 words only. Please take note of that. This is a common mistake. A lot of researchers have been, they have been writing very long titles for their research. So it should only be 10 to 15 words or maximum of at least 20 words only. But if you can make it 10 to 15 only, then it would be better. That will be very, very ideal. That's it. Those are the tips that I can give you in writing a very good research title. I hope that this discussion and these tips were able to give you an idea on how to make a very good research title. Now, here are the subscribers of the week. Shout out to the following, Rowena Beharin, Deliva Mahabunto, Res V. Fontanilla, Regeline Pacleva, Henrietta Agsaolio, Jeffrey Iniwan, and Miss Abby Niran. Thank you for your support. So see you again in my next video on how to formulate a very good statement of the problem. So this is Dr. Debbie Javier telling you to always be a blessing to others. Happy research writing! Bye! Thank you.